Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I decided to like uh, get some more rupees off camera, just for the sake of, you know, making sure I had enough. I mean, of course, your only source of income is just picking up rocks and smashing pumpkins. And no, I'm not talking about the Billy Corgan band either. Even though I would admit they're still quite made. I think Billy Corgan is trying to run some kind of wrestling organization, but that's neither here nor there. What we have to do for this cat is we gotta go fishing. Now, let's see. Oh, oh. You gotta hold this Wii remote behind you to make sure you grab that fish. Ah, green gill, 10 inches. Alright, press plus to check the fish you've caught, blah blah blah, and I can let it go with A. Well, that makes the cat pretty happy. Huh. He's following me to some extent. Maybe I should actually get him a fish. So, let me catch another. So, I think that's how I'm gonna be able to get this guy. Oh! Oh! Weird? Sometimes the uh, fishing controls are a little unintuitive. Just wait for this thing to bob down, and when it does, move. It's not gonna bob down. Can I put this back in position? Ugh. I was never one for the fishing in this game compared to the other games. Oh. Catch it! Catch it! This looks so awkward! How that actually works, I have no idea. There. Eh, well, he gets a fish now. And looks like, what? Cats like fish? <laughs> As if he's so surprised. Well, at least he knows where his home is. So that should make that missus pretty happy. I don't really need this thing sticking around anymore. Alright, so now let's return. Seeing as how the cat returned home, she should be quite happy. Where was the house again? Oh, no, I think it was over here. I, I see the little cat door over there. That's pretty much a dead giveaway. Oh my, Link! You simply must hear this! Just take a look. My little kitty Link came back! And he brought a fish back with him! He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute? The way he laps up that milk, yeah, just by bobbing his nose at it. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. But this bottle's half empty! Okay. Uh, it's nice to know that you gave half, gave the cat half of this milk. Oh, I don't have to return the empty bottle? Well, yeah, that is quite a Zelda staple, just reusing bottles. Huh. Tossing things out. Is this supposed to be like a reference to recycling? Huh, I can get a slingshot for 30 rupees. So if there was any reason to, like, uh, get some rupees, this was why. Yeah, I'll let the kids play with it. Oh, pumpkin seeds are your ammo. You can hold up to 50 pellets right away. Yeah, back in Ocarina of Time, you started with, like, what, 30? Then you had to get upgrades to get to 50? Luckily, the upgrades were quite easy to get. However, it's still a bit of a hassle. So, in any case, now that we got the slingshot, why don't we actually return back home? Those kids are probably still hanging out. If anything, they'll be excited to know I got a slingshot for them to play with. Hey! Ah, just in time, Link! I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased. And it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Uh, I will. Link is looking at him like, jackass. Delivered something to my room. Oh, you delivered a spider to my ladder. Okay. That's real nice, you dick. 
fine. I guess I'll use this. Might as well just set the bottle on there as well. Anytime you select something on the D-pad, it just automatically assigns to B. There. That's how you deal with spiders, and they explode violently. So apparently animals are made out of bombs. Alright, so what did he deliver to my room anyway? Did you really have to put it in such a big box? Oh, the wooden sword! It was returned to you fully repaired. Wait, I had this thing broken before? Apparently. Well, it is made out of wood after all, so... It's not expected to be completely durable. I don't trust this ladder, I have no spider. Link has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow! You had enough money to buy it, Link? Yeah, I smashed it like a month's worth of pumpkins to get this stuff, you know. Oh, you're setting up target practice for me? How nice of you. How did you get those targets up there, anyway? Preparations complete! Okay, wow, this is great! Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows! I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two will never let it go. Link, just show them! Yeah, I don't need you to break in the fourth wall. Okay. There! Right in the head. Yeah, I know, you can use, like, the analog stick. Hey, kids! You like the slingshot, huh? Well, at least they have good reaction time. What about this little kid over here? Oh, apparently I just caused desync by hitting this little kid in the arm. So, why don't you give me a few seconds to get all set up again? Okay, I'm back. I apologize for that. Apparently, Dazzle did not approve of me hitting this little kid right in the uh, arm. I mean, look at this. Let me try this again. That is not a normal reaction! Look at this! Huh. That, that seemed a little bit normal. Let me try hitting her in the head again. Well, she ducked. It's like, I hit him in the arm, and he just bends back. Oh, you gotta point your Wii Remote at the screen the whole time. Every time it goes off, it prompts you. And then you practically can't do anything. I hope my sensor bar is in a good spot for this. I hate to be, like, in a bad situation at the worst possible time. Whoa! Amazing, Link! Screw your lock-on advice. Feels more natural to do it without, like... Scope aim, or scope assist. Aim assist, yeah, that's what I mean. I don't play a lot of Call of Duty. Or any, for that matter. Gee, you really are amazing, Link! Yeah, you are! You can use swords and slingshots and everything! Hey, yeah, that reminds me! You gotta teach us how to use a sword, too! Seriously! Lately, these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us! We want to get them good! Come on, teach us how to use a sword! Okay. Well, at least there's some voice acting in this game. Alright, first off, we want to see that move! The slice! Um, you just swing the Wiimote, right? What's a Wiimote? Horizontal slice, blah blah blah. While you're Z-targeting and swinging, that allows you to do a vertical slice. Oh, and you just tilt the analog stick forward and swing. Yeah, that's a stab. <laughs> Let me do that first. That wasn't a stab. <laughs> I wanted to do like the vertical slice first. Oh, that's right, I wasn't even holding forward. The other move? A spin attack. You just likely shake the nunchuck side to side. <laughs> like that. What are you so excited about? I'm just smashing a scarecrow. You're doing like Christina Aguilera dance moves. 
I'm sorry you had to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Oh, uh, you're the one that's asking me to do moves, Beth. Hey, wait! You gotta show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, yeah, and leap through the air. Do it A while Z targeting. Yeah, that's right, I show that Scarecrow's boss. Now there's no more Wizard of Oz movies coming out. Thanks, Link. So, uh, I think I get it. Kinda. Maybe not. Should I test those moves on you until you do get it? So, this means that any time one of these monkeys show up... Ah. Wah! There's one right there. Come here, you! Ah, stupid kids. If there was ever a reason to get your tubes tied, maybe now's the time. You know, why am I leaving my horse here? Eh, I can just follow them on foot. Supposedly, they went that way. Tallow and Mallow went chasing after crazy people. Uh, crazy people after that monkey! I can't keep up with those two. Funny how those kids named Carl Tallow and Mallow. Just a little reference to like Talon and Malin from other Zelda games. Oh, there's Mallow. He went that way. The rest is up to you, Link. Yes, it's up to me. <laughs> Look at this! That's his only reaction to any contact. He just bobs his head back. Oh, that, that's hilarious. I must have went across that bridge. Alright, I'll be heading there that way too. If you want to go to your map, you just gotta press like the one button on the Wiimote. And there you go. Actually, I think I could have like pressed one on the map and got out of it right away. Eh, I'll test it out later. Right, now we're in the Faron Woods. Doesn't seem like a big spot, but usually when you go to like new areas, it comes filled in on your map anyway. Oh yeah, that grass over there allows you to bring any Pona, but we've already tested that out. Actually, I think I need to use it. So it's good to know they give you spots where you can use the horse whistle. Like, if you need to use your horse, there's gonna be a whistle right there. Not making you have to backtrack so much because you neglected to bring it with you. Game does those little nice things. You can't jump over that? Come on, you know how to jump over fences, McJesus. Come on, part the fence! Oh, that was Moses that did that. Why is this not opening? This should be opening. There we go, you have to do it at a specific angle. There's a spring over there, but we don't want to go that way. Here. How far could those monkeys have gone, anyway? Uh, the music's getting a little bit more menacing. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go through here, then. Ah, uh, Deku Baba! You shall die now. You found a play wooden sword, it's Talos. Well, I guess that means I go through here. Yeah, it's a bit dark. Maybe I should just turn around, because I believe there's something else you can get outside that cave. Let me take care of that first. I don't know if that Baba will respawn. Yep, it did. But I'm not gonna fight it yet. Instead, let me go through here. Oh, hi. Whoa, Nordornian! Hey, guy! Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dang spots around here that get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Take this. Hey, 
give me a free lantern. That's going to be very valuable. Okay, if you run out of fuel, the light will go out, so be careful. Sell lantern oil. Oh, you're trying to do this just to, like, uh, get some money. Oh, yeah, well, I do need some oil. Try setting a fire under that big pot. Okay. Well, at least the lantern is full of oil. He didn't sell me an empty one. There. That's right. See? It's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Uh, no. It's fine. No, I don't even want to talk to you. I actually meant to press A to put the lantern away. And anytime you see some torches, it would be a good idea to light them. Because you might actually trigger some hidden chests that way. So let me light all these. You know, just in case I find something special. And that can happen in such a place like this. Uh, maybe not yet. So as long as I put it away, it's not going to burn any more fuel. Alright, so let's head back to that cave. Now that I got a lantern, we should be able to explore it. Perfect. Wait a minute, I can pick something up. Oh, that's probably just a Deku nut. And you get the seeds. Wow, that alone gives you 50. That's a bit much, don't you think? But, okay. Oh, that was a good idea to light all these, uh, sconces. Torches. Watch out for the keys, because they're going to be a pain in the ass to fight. You know how I feel about bats in video games. Perfect. And get a little mini-map inside these caves as well, which is pretty nice. Burn the webs with your lantern. That allows you to advance. Hey, hey, hey! Sorry, dude. You gotta die, too. I don't care if you be the next Master Splinter. Uh, am I even going the right way? It looks like I'm getting out of the cave. I wanted to check out the other section. So, why don't I do that? I don't really feel like going through here yet. I spawn the woods looks very dangerous as well. But we do eventually have to go this way. So it's a good idea to fully explore these caves, because you're more often than not gonna find some treasure. Like right here. The thing I hate about these small boxes is you had to be in a specific spot. There, I get ten rubies. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not using the spin attack as much when it comes to this grass. It, it should be just self-explanatory that you would need it for something like this. Alright, so now let's go to this dangerous spot. It looks like there's a lot of fog. Alright, now. Go this way. Oh, careful with these freaks. There. They're pretty easy. They're kind of little, like, orcs or trolls. That's basically what they are. Anything over here? No. Okay. I'll just go this way, then. Oh! Do some dumb damage. They hide in the grass, so they can easily sneak up on you if you're too impatient. I hate that every time you, like, uh, reboot your game, like, you turn it off and turn it back on, you have to be given a notification that you picked up anything below one rupee at least once. There. Any of these drop hearts for me? No. It's over this way. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, damn it, that key 
he's got the jump on me. Oh, there was a key. Oh, I probably need it for something. No, 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 don't get up on that. Get the heart, then get the money. Light these up for no reason. Well, actually, there is a good reason for that. That's, that's why I tell you to light every torch you see, or brazier, or sconce, whatever you want to call it. Because you can get some good stuff, like a piece of heart. Now, in this game, there's like, going to be, obviously, a lot more heart pieces, because now you need five to get a heart container, as opposed to the traditional four. They went back to four in Skyward Sword, because maybe they felt five was too much. But, to each their own. I think this, the DS Zelda games didn't really go with heart pieces and just went with full heart containers. Or maybe that was just Phantom Hourglass, which I never finished. Well, I don't have the game. I got Spirit Tracks, but I never finished that either. The DS games were a bit of a disappointment, probably just because of the damn control scheme. I don't know what they were thinking of that. But, I digress. The way I need to go is all the way to the northeast part of the map. I'm still hearing that menacing music. Oh. Okay, so the uh, spin attack requires a bit of a charge. That's why I couldn't use it right away after using it before. Forest temple up ahead. Well. I got a key, so now I can go through. And that guy was like, oh, well, what happened? You had a key? Should I do something about this? Nah. Surprise! Okay, well, I let myself got flanked like an idiot there, so I kind of deserve taking damage. Okay, I'm pretty close. Ah, oh, that's a potion shop. Take it to the potion shop. Ah, oh, I should not be referencing like old 50 Cent songs. Remember that song, Candy Shop? That was like a terrible song. Woo, hey, woo, you're super. I ain't buying crap from you unless you have an empty bottle for me. Well, these are just potions, and then there's oil over there. But I don't really need oil. So I'll just go this way and save a kid. It's more precious than oil. Some people might actually disagree. Ha! Huh, monkey got kidnapped too! My cage is actually made out of wood. That's very convenient. Freaks, let him go. Huh. I can do this all day! Oh, it takes like six slingshot attacks to kill them? Oh, you can't really use the jump attack if you don't have your sword out. I'm so scared about it. I ain't gonna hit you. Oh, that's probably so annoying. At least that monkey has some enthusiasm. If you hadn't come, Link, gee, me and that monkey would have gotten eaten. Probably. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Link? You're not gonna mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest, because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him. Really. You have to promise. I ain't covering up for your crap today. What? My son told me Tallow disappeared into the woods and not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? 
Uh, have you asked your wife? I, I mean, I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Link. Tomorrow is finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I think it is a good thing I have given this task to you. <laughs> good luck, and return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. Ha ha ha! Oh ha ha yourself. You and your ugly shorts. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, as the goats are out again. What? I'm over here. I got big ears, you know. I can hear anything. So, almost time for you to get going, huh, Link? So, how about we finish up early today, bud? Eh, we can probably do that in the next episode, okay? Because I think that's enough for now. Stay tuned for the next episode when we continue on and probably go to Hyrule. Who knows? Goodbye, everyone, and thank you so much for watching.